Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video guys, I'm going to be showing you C-Frames in Roblox Studio. Let's get right into it. So what a C-Frame is, is it stands for a coordinate frame and the C-Frame describes a 3D position and orientation. So you guys know, like when you're getting a part, let's say game.workspace.part, there's position, there's also orientation. So, what C frame is, is the C frame, just by saying this one word, let's say game.workspace.part.c frame, what this is saying is it is holding the 3D position as well as the orientation. So, I have an example. So, there's this green part and this red part. Notice how the red part is like extremely like out of whack, it's rotated a lot, okay? So, what I want to do is I want to position this part. Um, to be the exact same as the green part, like orientated the same. So what I'm talking about is the red part would be like the green part. So, you know, like just like this, um, it would be, you know, not orientated as much. Let's say you try doing this using position. So I have my part and I have a target. So I'm going to get local part is equal to game.workspace.part. I also will get target so target is equal to game.workspace.target i'm gonna say target.position we go to part.position but what will happen when i run this is it only changes the actual position not the orientation or anything so if you wanted to change the orientation with as well you would say c frame because c frame holds a 3d position and orientation so when you run the game you're not going to see it but if i raise it um if you just move it, it, it is in the same position. So C-Frame holds a 3D position and orientation to simplify things. Okay, so let's get into C-Frame.new. Actually, I'm going to keep this. And if I say part dot C-Frame, I got the C-Frame. And if I set it to a new C-Frame, that's meaning I'm changing it to a new position. A new uh, position and orientation. A new coordinate C frame as it is here. Now in these parentheses you would put in where you would want to position it. Um which could be uh, you know any part C frame. Uh you could also do hold on wait a minute. So it's kind of like vector three. So you could say five zero and it would position it five studs uh you know five studs um by the origin. Um what you could also do is set it to itself and also multiply it by a new value, which is saying it's going to stay in the same place, but we're going to move it by how, how, however much we put in here. So if I move it five studs up, what this is saying is instead of it being five studs at the origin, it'll be five studs in its uh, position like it is now. So if I run the game, there you go. All right. Um, so C frame dot new, it's kind of like vector threes. Uh, you just have to, it's kind of like the same thing. You have to multiply the C-frame too, by the way. So what you could also do is multiply it by an angle. So C-frame, let me, let me fix this. Okay, so C-frame dot, or sorry, multiply C-frame dot angles. Uh, C-frame dot angles, you know, it's just the angle of the C-frame. There's not much to it. It's just the it returns the rotated C frame. Now, what this takes is the values in radian X, radian Y, radian Z. So uh, you would have to convert all this into radians. So let's say I'm gonna say math dot radians rad, and I'm gonna put in 45 degrees. I'm also gonna put in zero for these other ones. When I run the game. It is slanted at a 45 degree angle. So C frame dot angles, that's how you rotate it. Um, and you have to use it in radians, which I can get into it in another video, but you can guys search up what radians are. But it just rotates your C frame. You know, it's just multiplied on there. So if you wanted to, you could rotate it however much, but if you don't do it in radians, you can just pin 45. I'm not for sure what'll happen, but it'll just do the same thing. I think it'll automatically convert but yeah, it just rotates your C-frame. Okay guys, so let's get into 
look at c frame dot look at so i have an example here again i have my regular part and i have my target what look at does is it makes it so it, it looks like the orientation of a part is facing another so let's make this part look at the target the red part how we would do that is you would say get the part that you want to look at so which is part dot c frame uh, will be equal to c frame dot look at okay now these it takes two things and there are both vector threes and none of it is c frames we're then going to put in part dot position comma and then the where we want to look at which is target dot position and put in there whatever position you want it to look at but when we play this as you can see our green part is looking up at the target the red part and you can put in anything here like if we don't have to look at the target if we wanted to look at the origin all right you don't even have to say this you can just say vector 3.0 and when you do that then the part will it will look let's show orientation it is looking at the origin so that's uh, how you can get a parts orientation to basically look at another position okay guys so the next thing is look vector right vector and then up vector so what I'm talking about here is I'm gonna get this part okay and I'm going to make it so it shows the front face which is it says it's right here let me change this so it's like actually the right size so I have the front face here and looking at it from this perspective you may have guessed the look vector is the front face of the part where it is looking so this would be the the uh, look vector it was looking straight same thing for right vector the right side and the up vector if you um, wanted to uh, uh, get uh, one of the other vectors you would have to use a vector 3 function called like cross um, I'm pretty sure that's it dot or cross but I'm, I could go over that in another video. But yeah, those are the vectors. Look vector, right vector, and up vector. Let's say you wanted to move this part uh, maybe 10 studs in the way it is looking. Right? So we want to position this block 10 studs in front of where it is facing. So, you know, 10 studs, it would be probably over here. Um, but keeping that front face forward, you know, that using that front vector. So I don't know if it makes much sense, but let's get into the coding part of it. All right, so guys, we're going to say part dot position. We're not going to say uh, C frame because position, we're not trying, like, we're not going to change the orientation. So we're just going to say position. We'll be go to part dot position, and then we're going to get the uh, look vector of the part so part dot c frame dot look vector uh, okay now we got the look vector but that is a unit value which means it returns one so we need to multiply it by something so it actually goes in a direction by how many studs so if we multiply this by 10 then it would go in the same direction by 10 studs and if we did play this oh it didn't move maybe we got an error uh, oh, okay. <laughs> I'm still trying to get target, even though I deleted it uh, earlier. So let's delete that. Let's play the game again. And it moves. You're still using that front vector, that front look vector, by 10 studs. Um, again, look vector is a unit value, which means it's like 1. So you'd have to multiply it to increase it. Now, this is the same thing for any other vector, like... Um, the the up vector if I wanted to move it 10 up then you'd say up vector times well, let's make that like 25 or something you know make it make it go up by quite a bit run the game and it went up uh, still keeping that same orientation the same uh, like what I mean by this is the front vector is still the same all vectors are still the same we haven't changed the orientation in any way so yeah, that's um, all the vectors, look vector, right vector, and up vector.
Okay, guys, so the next thing is lerping. And what lerping is, is it's kind of like tween service, but a little bit different. Lerping, it interpolates, which means moves along um, a value and a goal. Um, and and incre like, okay, so let's say we are going to interpolate, which means move along between 0 and 10. Interplate, which means it's kind of like a tween, which means it, it moves along. So it moves along, you know, 0, and then it goes 1, then it goes 2, then it goes 3, all the way till 10. It interplates, it moves along, and it, however much it is interplated by, is by what we give it in the function called alpha. Alpha is however long, how much we go um, along in this interpolation. So I'm going to get into lerping in just a second, like how it looks. Well, let's say we're going from 0 to 10, but our alpha we put in, it's from 0 to 1. Let's pay 0 0.5, so halfway. That would mean that uh, our interpolation will go from 0 to 5. If we put it as 1, then it would go to 0 to 10. So let's get into the actual lerping and how it looks. Okay, again, let's get the part. Okay, let's get the part that we have in our game. So game.workspace.part. And let me move something real quick. Okay. And then I'm going to get the part C frame. So parts C frame is equal to part uh, dot C frame. And then we're going to make a target C frame. So where we want this to end up. Um, and that will be parts C, um, part C frame. Okay. And then we're going to multiply it. Let's say we want to make this part go up, like interplay it up. So let's do that maybe by, I'm going to say, maybe a good in between is like 25, maybe 30. I'm just going to say 25. So 25 comma zero. Again, we're using C frames and we are multiplying it um, by 25 in the Y. So it goes up. Okay. Now let's actually start to lerp it. So. To, to cause less confusion, I'm just going to say part dot C frame equals uh, part C frame. Because I think, okay, let me change this to maybe start C frame. Because I think that'll make, just make more, sense, make more sense. So we have start C frame, and then we need to say lerp. So we are calling it. Okay, guys, so then in our lerp, we're going to put in our target. C frame. Now again, I brought up the alpha. So it takes the goal C frame and then it takes the alpha, which means the 0 to 1, how much we want to interpolate it from the target, from the start to the target, as I said. Now it goes from 0 to 1. So if I wanted to set alpha to 0 0.5, that'll mean it'll be halfway. It'll set the C frame halfway of 25 so that means half of 25 which is 12.5 so if i set this to 30 and i set the alpha to 0 0.5 that would be half of that which would be 15. okay so if we were to run this it moves it up uh by 15 studs so if we want to actually animate it i'll show you guys that now so what I'm about to show you is the reason why you should use tweening, but if you wanted precise movements, then you can use lerp. So this is how you guys can uh, move it, like actually interpolate it. So to actually make it look like it's moving, we're going to make a for loop. So for i is equal to 0, 1, 0, 0.1 do. So this will run lots of times. Actually, this is 0 0.01 to make it run lots of times. Okay, and then we are then going to copy this lerp. But yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're going to copy this, but in, in to basically make it seem like it's moving, we're going to put I in for our alpha because I is constantly moving. So then it'll make it look like it is moving uh, very fast. So then we're going to put in task.wait, and that should work. So if we run the game, we will see that the part is moving to our goal. There you guys go. Okay, guys, so let's get into two world space and two object space what this is saying like what are these are saying is to object space what this is saying is 
okay, so I brought back my target example here, okay? And what I'm going to say is I'm going to bring it, bring this down here, and the target's going to be right there. And so I'm just going to bring that up, like, 10 studs, 10 studs exactly. And so I am going to um, say part, uh, whoops, let me say part dot c frame will be equal to part um well let's just say two object space and we're going to put in target dot c frame what two object space says it is it converts the c frame relative to the world but it is relative to the part that we give it so let's say this is where, okay, so let's say one part is at 0, 10, 0. So it's like up here. Let's say we have, <laughs> let's say have the parts at like 10 studs up um, above the ground. And another object, which is like another object, is 20 studs above that. Right? What this will return is it would be 0 comma 10 0 because it's treating object B as the base plate now I don't if you guys uh, if that makes any sense at all because object space it converts it it gives us the C frame relative to a specific part and not to the origin of the universe but to world space does the opposite of that it converts the C frame to the center of the world so two object space returns um so yeah it returns that so i'm gonna set get this part and the position will be zero comma ten comma zero this part will be zero comma twenty comma zero so here's our two parts okay we're going to print this print what we have here so it is converting the object space but it's treating the target as the center of of the universe okay so I think I might have to switch this around let me test this so if I print it yeah it gives us 10 it gives us all of these numbers because to object space it gives us the studs treating as if the target was the start of the universe so guys, to explain this further, object to object space gives you the object C frame, this one, say the part C frame, it gives you that, and the world uh, C frame, which I'm using the target, and it gives you the offset offset between these two. So that is why it um, printed ten. I'm pretty sure it printed ten print the 10 because that is the offset between the second and the first one if that makes any sense in two world space if we print that again it would print 30 because it is the world space is zero uh, zero it's from the origin from the origin to the targets C frame or whatever you put in here so because it is 30 studs 20 uh, for some reason I put 20 but it says 30 uh, studs from the origin if that makes any sense and yeah guys that was today's video if you guys did learn something from this video um, or you just enjoyed it please hit the like button and the subscribe button I'll see you guys in the next video peace